you know that the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression happened together because industrial agriculture wanted to close down the family farm. Now, that's an objective fact. If you go back and look at it, you know, we didn't have climate change. We had a manufactured financial crisis that did not affect family farms, but was taken from the large corporate banks and infected the family farm banks, which gave rise to the incapacity for farmers to farm. The Dust Bowl was a banking crisis. It was not an environmental crisis. If you look at the bizarre nature right now of the people who are administering the campaign of terror on CO2 emissions, and you're watching them let forest fires be started and burned with impunity, you sit back and go, well, hold on a minute, I thought carbon dioxide was bad. So why are we increasing the carbon dioxide by taking trees out of circulation? Well, the answer is land reappropriation. That's what it's about. It's about reappropriating land. And the best way to reappropriate land is to have a fire. That has been the case since the Old Testament. So this is not a new thing. This has been around for thousands and thousands of years. When humans cannot win on a fair playing field, they use fire. And they use fire to destroy a old appropriation of land and reappropriate it to a new use. There's no question that what is going on in Canada right now is a massive, massive, massive land grab where the state will come in, in its largesse, and propose new development of what? Of things that will be pro-state. That's not a human recovery. And by the way, as much as Maui may or may not be the sum of a series of electrical failures, there is no question that the power systems in Maui were not managed to diminish the risk of fire. We will not say, and I will not say, they necessarily intentionally set them. I'm not going to get into that conversation. What I will say is that very simple safety protocols, like if lines are down, don't send energy back into a down line, those kinds of things were not done. So were some of those fires, without question, at least negligently set? The answer is without question. The evidence is unambiguous. And by the way, even NPR talks about that evidence. So the fact is we know that what we have is a situation where this ongoing campaign of terror is about reallocating, redistributing, and reappropriating resources into state control. And there's no question that that's what happened in Maui. There's no question that's what's happening in Canada. And there's no question that that's what's happening in fires that are going on all around the world, remarkably in places where climate change activists say they're the most concerned with climate change. They're pumping CO2 into the air. So... This, this hypocrisy is necessary to create the cognitive dissonance.